It's been predicted that in 2025, we're going to see the meme coin market cap go to a total valuation of over $1 trillion. The influx of this cash is going to cause the meme coin economy to increase by over 12,000% and that most of this increase will be done by less than 10 major coins. Now, this means there's a lot of new millionaires to be made in this space. If you can understand it and predict what's going to happen in the future, then it might just be you. In this video, I'm not gonna claim that I can predict the future and tell you specific coins to buy. Instead, I'm gonna aim to teach you how you can do your own research so that you can decide on which meme coins you personally think are going to increase the most. So before we get started, you have to understand the differences between meme coins and your typical cryptocurrency, as well as where this influx of money is coming from and why it's even happening in the first place. Traditional cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin base their value on their utility, that one day they'll serve some kind of purpose or solve some kind of problem within the community. With meme coins, the product is the coin itself and its community. It's the idea that the coin and the community behind it is the factor that drives up the price, creating a feedback loop, adding more members and bringing the price even higher. Now you might think that sounds ridiculous, but that's exactly what we've seen happen time and time again. We saw it with GameStop, we've seen it happen to Sheeb and Doge, so we know that these things can happen. So if we're gonna look for a meme coin, what are the key things we should be looking for? Well, rather than take my advice, I'm gonna leave it to major crypto investor Must Stop Murad to explain. A major run up. Why does this matter? Because when you're trading attention, a relentless community is the secret sauce that you need to look for. And if you don't enable poor people to get rich, then you have no community. And in my opinion, airdrops don't build community either. Now, I'll link the full video in the description if anyone's interested, but the key takeaways from this presentation is this, that community is the single most important factor deciding whether or not a coin will be successful in the future. In order for a coin to be worth something in the future, it needs a community that truly believes in it and has some kind of goal and identity. Now, how can we actually tell a good community from a bad one? Well, here's a few things that I've noticed. Good communities have a high engagement with lots of different people posting and talking about the coin on lots of different social medias. Bad communities have lots of engagement, but you'll notice a lot of the posts are either copy pasted or use AI bots in order to artificially pump up their engagement numbers. You can usually tell these accounts because they'll be made one or two days before the comment that they actually post. Good communities will have a healthy distribution of holders, whereas bad communities will have their their coins concentrated into a few accounts. Good communities have a solid identity and foundation. There will be a clear message, goal or idea that the community can identify with and use to their advantage as a brand image. Bad communities have unclear goals, are unsure of what their coin actually stands for or even means and have no group identity. This makes it incredibly hard for new people to identify with the core message of the community and even harder to invest serious money into. Additionally, if these coins begin to do badly, then many of the people holding these coins will sell out of fear because they don't actually believe in the community that they're a part of. A perfect example of the potential of meme coins and Murad's favorite is the coin SPX6900. Now this coin has seen over a 500% increase in the last five days alone and it currently sits at a market cap of $539 million. Now this is a perfect example of what meme coins are capable of, with their explosive growth occurring completely out of the blue. Now before you rush off and go buy yourself some SPX, I would first take a look at the community behind it and the identity of the meme coin. Heading over to their Twitter page, we can see that the engagement looks high, although the content is a little bit strange. So if we investigate a little bit further, we can see that this coin, although having an enthusiastic community, doesn't really have any identity besides these flashing memes and dancing anime girls. Checking out their webpage, we see even more of this nonsense posting and just unclear messaging. Now it's my personal opinion that while the price of SPX may continue to go up in the future, the limit of how much this community can continue to grow is smaller than it otherwise could have been if the community was more cohesive and approachable. It's my thinking that this coin will collapse eventually and when it does the people who've bought this coin are just going to lose confidence and sell because they don't actually believe in it. 
Now, I want to give an example of a good community. For this, I'm going to use Kendu Inu. Now, this is a meme coin that's been decreasing in value for the last few months, going from a market cap of 250 million to about 45 million currently. Now, you would think a community that's been consistently losing money would get upset, scared, or fearful of the future. But if we check out Kendu Inu on X, CoinMarketCap, Reddit, or any other social media, it shows a completely different side. You can see that the community still has so much hope for this coin. So much so that members have gotten tattoos, made Kendu energy drinks and coffee brands, bought billboards, and is all around such a fanatical community even during times of strife. If we have a look at how many holders Kendu has, we also see that it has pretty much climbed non-stop, even though the price has decreased. What this means is that the coin has become more diversified. All the old holders that used to hold lots of the coin have sold off, causing the price to decrease, but in their place, lots of new holders have come in and they've bought lots of little amounts, spreading the coin out even further. This hopefully will stabilize the coin value and when it does pump, cause it to go even higher. Now, checking on their coin webpage, we can also see this coin has a very clear identity and a goal. They aim to go to a $100 billion market cap and promote an inclusive community all along the way. Now, this isn't me telling you to go and buy Kendu right away. Instead, I'm asking you to go and do your own research yourself. Go out there, investigate the meme coin landscape, and see what you can find. See what communities are out there still hiding, because one of them may be the big one that no one knows about yet. We all know community is key to the next big meme coin, and I challenge you to find any coin with a community that comes even close to that of Kendu's. But with all of that guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you learned something, and if you did, then please make sure you leave a comment down below. It's really helpful to know what you guys are investing in, how you guys liked it, and how I can improve in the future. But other than that, I want to thank you guys all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.